The USA is the world's largest economy, ahead of China and Japan. According to the IMF, the nominal gross domestic product of the USA is around 26 trillion US dollars. This corresponds to around a quarter of the global economy. The climatic conditions in the USA offer numerous opportunities for agricultural use. The USA has one of the largest agricultural areas in the world. However, slightly less than half of the national territory is used for it. Various large regions, also known as belts, have specialized in certain products. The Northeast is known as the Dairy Belt, where the farming of cows is particularly important for the dairy industry. The plains of the Midwest are used in particular for the cultivation of maize and are known as the Corn Belt. Another important product from this large region is soy, primarily for animal feed. The South is known as the Cotton Belt of the USA, which dates back to colonial times. In addition to the cultivation of rice and tobacco, intensive poultry farming is practiced and the cultivation of peanuts is of great importance in the Southeast. Parts of the Great Plains are considered the Wheat Belt. Pigs and cattle are also raised, sometimes on large ranches in the vast prairie landscapes. The vast west is hardly used for agriculture due to the aridity and relief. The California Valley, on the other hand, is considered the fruit garden of the USA. In addition to fruit and vegetables, wine is also grown here. The USA is one of the world's largest producers of numerous agricultural products, including corn, soybeans, wheat, and sugar beet. The country also has numerous natural resources, such as coal, iron, uranium, gold, and last but not least, oil and natural gas, meaning that the USA can operate quite independently in terms of energy. Alaska's economy is mainly based on natural resources, especially oil deposits. There are also natural gas deposits, precious metals, such as gold, and an important timber and paper industry thanks to the forest areas. Various large industrial regions with specializations have emerged in the USA. The oldest and largest is the so-called manufacturing belt, which stretches from southern New England via New York and along the Great Lakes to the Chicago metropolitan area. In the first half of the 20th century, this large region was a leader in the USA in areas such as steel production, car manufacturing and coal mining. With the decline of heavy industry came some serious economic problems, which could only be cushioned in some cities by the service sector. New York is one of the most important financial centers in the world. Numerous large banks and major stock exchanges, such as the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ are located around Wall Street. The city is also an important media location and a center of international diplomacy. The headquarters of the United Nations, for example, is located here. Boston is home to numerous universities, including Harvard and MIT. Biotechnology is also important there and the city is a leader in the healthcare sector. Today, Chicago is home to numerous world-class companies and is an important industrial location, for example, for the manufacture of machinery and vehicles. Various commodity exchanges are also located here. Another important region in the east of the USA with a strong concentration of industrial production is the Southern Appalachians. The most important center is the city of Atlanta with a diversified economy and due to low taxes, numerous headquarters of large companies, including giants of the food industry, such as Coca-Cola. East Texas is another important industrial center. The extraction and processing of crude oil and natural gas is one of the most important sectors here. Petrochemicals, the food industry, aerospace and the electrical industry are also important in this large region, whose most important centers are Dallas and Houston. There are other key areas on the West Coast. Firstly, the Northwest, 
with Seattle in the center, an important center of the aerospace industry with companies such as Boeing and the IT sector. The headquarters of Amazon and Microsoft, among others, are located here. The second is the Greater California region. Northern California is particularly dominated by Silicon Valley, which is located southwest of San Francisco around the city of San Jose. Today, thousands of companies in the IT sector are concentrated here, including big names such as Apple, Google and Facebook, or their parent companies. Los Angeles occupies a central position in Southern California. The city is a major center of the aerospace industry. Hollywood is a heavy weight in the film and television industry and the metropolis also plays an important role in the music industry. The USA is home to a huge tourism industry and is the third most visited country in the world, behind France and Spain. Most international visitors come from neighboring Mexico and Canada, but domestic tourism plays a particularly important role in the USA. Important destinations for city tourism include New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Chicago, Miami, and Las Vegas, which is famous for its casinos. Various national parks also attract numerous visitors. Everglades, Grand Canyon, Yellowstone, Yosemite, and Niagara Falls. Florida's beaches are an important center for beach tourism. The USA has an efficient infrastructure. Private transportation has been of paramount importance since the second half of the 20th century at the latest, and the country has very good road connections. This includes the network of interstate highways. The railroad has historically played a major role, but today it is mainly important for freight transport. Passenger transportation plays only a minor role, but the Northeast Corridor, between Boston and Washington, D.C., where the Acela, a type of high-speed train runs, is worth mentioning. Due to the size of the country, air travel plays a particularly important role in the USA. The largest airport in terms of passenger volume is Atlanta, an important hub between the East Coast and the West Coast. Other major airports are Los Angeles, Chicago, Dallas-Fort Worth, Denver, New York, and San Francisco. In terms of cargo airports, Memphis, Anchorage in Alaska, and Louisville are among the largest of their kind. The most important container ports are Houston, South Louisiana, Corpus Christi, New York, and Long Beach in the Los Angeles metropolitan area. This is already the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Until next time.